Uh, and what we want to do here is root this device. Obviously, we all know that rooting unlocks uh, the phone's uh, true capabilities, allowing uh, really useful apps to be able to run and give you full read-write access to all directories on the phone. Uh, so that way you can do anything you want with the phone. You're not locked out of really cool functionality. Uh, to do that, for Android 2.2, the way we're going to show you how to do it is to use uh, Ryan's Z4 root mod. Um, the application can be found in XTA Developers. I've linked you there. Uh, and the attach file is at the bottom for Z4 root. We can see that right there. Uh, you know, this guy has done this for free for us, so please consider donating. Uh, you know, I really appreciate uh, people spending time on things like that, so if you feel the need, please donate to him. Uh, so once we download the application, uh, we're going to need to sideload it with Droid Explorer. This particular tutorial will talk about sideloading with Droid Explorer. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab an app to test against. Uh, something that uses root permissions. I'm going to recommend Titanium Backup. It can be found in the market. So the link is also in the More Info section for that. So we're going to plug in our phones. Uh, one step to mention before we plug in is to go ahead and have the phone in USB debugging mode. So click the bottom left button, Settings, Applications, Development, and then check USB Debugging. It'll ask, you say yes and go back home. Now I'll plug in your phone. Be sure you have your Samsung drivers installed at this point, which you really should if you've already flashed to 2.2 Android. I'm really highly sure that you guys have done that. Uh, so you probably have your drivers already. Uh, Alright, now we'll go and sideload our apps. We're going to sideload Titanium Backup and Z4 Root Mod. To do that, we'll open Droid Explorer, then we'll go to this little software looking button right there. You see that? And when we highlight it, install application on device. So we'll click it. And don't worry about the loading part. Click install. Grab the file from wherever you put it. So for us, it's right here in our downloads. Let me zoom out there for a little bit so you can see that. So we'll double click it. It'll talk about the permissions it's going to request to the phone. And once it does, we'll say install. When this window disappears, you can grab any other app that you want to sideload to test with, or you can just close the application. So we're going to go back in and we're going to grab our titanium backup and install it as well. Okay. We're going to close out all that and center back up my camera here. All right, so now we can unplug our phone, unlock it, and we're going to go ahead and open up our Titanium X, uh, backup application to prove that we have not rooted this phone already. We'll click it and we'll instantly get a kickback note that says, Error, sorry, I could not acquire root privileges. So obviously this is unrooted. So to fix this, we'll go into Applications, the very back Z4 root mod down there at the bottom left. We'll click it, and we'll have options. Temporary root, permanent root. Temporary root will only last as long as you don't reboot the phone. It's for people that really would prefer not to run rooted, and you know just to do experimentation with and things like that. We're going to choose permanent root. Once we do that, it's going to run in the background and run some shell commands to completely root the phone it only takes a moment. So we'll wait for that to complete. Rebooting. Alright, now the phone's going to reboot. We're going to allow it to do so, and I'll catch up with you as soon as the phone's booted back up. Okay, now that our phone has booted back up, we'll unlock, go into our applications, we're going to go over to the same application we tested with, in this case Titanium Backup. We'll launch it, and this time we'll actually get SuperUser. Uh, that's part of the Z4 root process to install SuperUser. So, we have now officially rooted the phone and can use root-based applications. If you ever want to unroot the phone, simply go back into Z4 mod. You can reroute or unroot. 
Uh, reroute is basically if your route failed or didn't quite work out the way you wanted it to. Uh, unroute will completely turn the phone back to normal so we can unroute completed. Your route should now be completely removed. You will need to reboot the phone for that to take effect and once you reboot you have unrooted. So if you need to take it back for warranty purposes there you go. Be sure you uninstall Z4 root if you are taking it back for warranty purposes though. So, that's how to root Android 2.2 on your Samsung Captivate. The Z4 root mod actually works on a ton of phones.